Hello, everyone. Thank you for signing on to today's Amtrak Vacations presentation of Last Minute USA Getaways. I'm so excited and thankful to have you folks here with me on the presentation today. There you can see me, your, my photo right there on your screen, your host, Jarrett Kettinger. And folks, I want to welcome you all, but also take a quick moment to direct you, as some have already figured it out, to the questions box that you'll find on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. I want to let you know that for those of you who have already typed in your questions, we will be doing a Q&A session at the end of the presentation today. For those who have not had a chance to, but may have some questions, feel free to type them into said questions box at any time, and I will answer them at the end. Now, today we will be talking about some great packages and destinations that you can book to travel to this year in 2021, hence the term last minute, as we have a lot of folks possibly even you, that are looking to travel this year, that are looking to get out of their homes, get out of their neighborhoods, get out of their cities and towns, and travel to some of the wonderful destinations here in the United States on an exciting vacation before the end of the year. So hopefully we can uh, spark some excitement and see where you might wanna go. Now on today's presentation, we'll be talking about some important things for you to know about when preparing or considering to travel by train. As I mentioned, some popular destinations, booking now, some popular last minute getaway destinations and packages, booking now to travel now, within the next few weeks, next few months, or before the end of the year, and how you can customize or personalize your rail vacation with Amtrak Vacations to get exactly what you are looking for on your next rail journey. Now folks, there are two major brands here for you to be aware of. Number one, Amtrak Vacations, of course. That is the host brand. That is our flagship brand here at the company. Now, what is an Amtrak Vacation? Well, as its name would suggest, here we bundle the hotel or lodging stay, the sightseeing excursions, and attraction admissions for the vacation, for the holiday, and bundle it or package it together with the wonderful, scenic, relaxing experience of traveling by train. Now, of course, with Amtrak Vacations, that would suggest here within the United States, within America. So whether you want to travel cross country or go to a very popular or exciting city or town or destination here in the US, whether you want to do multiple destinations all on one vacation or even go to a US national park, that is all here with Amtrak Vacations. Then, essentially take the same concept, the same idea of bundling the hotels and lodging with the sightseeing, with the excursions, all packaged together with the rail travel experience, just worldwide, Europe, Canada, parts of Asia, Australia, even Alaska. That is rail bookers. Make sense? Now question. And you can respond yes or no, or I did, or I didn't know. But who here was aware that when we say Amtrak vacations, or when we say rail bookers, it actually meant that we do everything. Hotel, sightseeing attractions with the rail travel experience. Was anyone aware of that prior to this webinar? Simply type yes, no, I did not know, I did know, into the questions box. Okay. And this is why we do these webinars. It's about 50, actually 60% no's to 40% yeses on this. A good amount of response, excellent. Now, as I mentioned, all of our rail vacations are customizable. 
So that means that we can take a, an already pre-packaged itinerary, and again, that packaged itinerary comes with the hotels and the sightseeing and the exciting excursions at the destination, but we can take those packages and rework them. For example, perhaps you're doing a package that does New England, say Boston and Maine, but in conjunction with that, you wanted to stop over in New York City as well. So you wanna add on a destination to the New England package. No problem, we can book those together. Or perhaps one of our agendas or itineraries lists three nights in Boston and two nights in Maine, but you wanna do three nights in Maine, so you wanna add on an extra night. Simple as that, of course, we can extend that. Or you wanna go round trip from your hometown or most local station, whether it be Topeka, Kansas, whether it be, you know, whether it be uh, Atlanta, Georgia, whether it be Rugby, North Dakota, where, whether it be Boston, where I'm from, and you wanna go round trip from your most local hometown station or close the station to your hometown, we can get you started and go round trip to end there just the same. And of course, we can upgrade your rail tickets to make sure that the space on the train in terms of the roomettes and bedroom cabins are built into the package. And as I mentioned before, we include not just the hotels and not just the train tickets or the upgraded train tickets with the roomettes or bedroom cabins, but we also always include sightseeing on the package. But you may want some specific sightseeing opportunities, or you may want to add on to it. We can always do that just the same. And folks, it's important to know that as we're talking about last minute getaways and traveling in 2021, we can have you travel from today, colloquially, as we like to say, to 2023. So whether you are booked and excited to travel now for this year, whether, as I said, the next few weeks, next few months, before the end of the year, or you're planning to travel for next year, or the year after, we can help get you quoted, get you booked, secured, or inquired today. Simple as that. Now here are some main reasons why travelers love Amtrak vacations. Number one, when you are putting together a package with our rail vacation consultants, you are working with a rail vacations expert. We know the rail. It depends where you're going, but the trains might have multiple departure times, so we can help you select the best one. Or you may have to connect one rail line with another rail line, marrying them together. That might sound a little confusing. It's easy for us, we're happy to do it. We might even have suggestions of which rail systems to go in which order, ensuring you get on your best vacation. And as I just mentioned, we can help you book from now to as far out as 2023 or plan for now or as far out as 2023. And we have a maximum flexibility. And by that, we mean that you can uh, travel whichever date you want to go, as long as the train is going and the destination is available. For example, with some cru well, with cruise lines and some escorted motor coach bus tour companies, you have to go on their set departure dates. Well, with us, Again, as long as the trains are running and as long as the destination is going, you can go on your date. And between Amtrak vacations and rail bookers, we have the largest rail vacation selection worldwide. Whether it's here within the United States to go to an exciting city or town that you've always wanted to visit, or even connecting multiple exciting cities and towns by way of the train system on one vacation, or going to the US national parks, here in the US of course, or 
going through Canada, going through Europe, going through Australia, going through Alaska, through Railbookers. We can cover all of that here with one of our brands. And as we like to say, no rail trip is too complicated for us. Simple as that. And why book or plan now? Well, we offer a maximum flexibility offer on any reservation booked through September 30th, which means that basically if you have to change your dates or Lord forbid have to cancel, any bookings made before September 30 will be covered so that you face no change fees or cancellation fees if such a thing would happen. And I did this on this last webinar, the one I hosted earlier, but we have a lot to be cheerful for here, both at Amtrak Vacations, but also in our, in our country. We're cheerful because people are traveling again, again, and we can travel again, and you can travel again. We can go to these exciting places. And we're cheerful because it's our 50th year anniversary here at Amtrak. So whether it's going cross country or going to the US national parks or just being able to go somewhere, I wanna do a one, two, three, hip, hip, hooray, and you guys can cheers or say yeah, or say however you wanna respond into the questions box. We got a lot of great responses on the last webinar. So one, two, three, hip, hip, hooray, we can all travel again. I think we're all excited about that and I'm getting woo-hoos. I'm getting yeses, I'm getting, I'm ready to travels. Congratulations are coming in, thank you folks. We're very excited, I hope you're very excited. Awesome, lots of great encouragement. So where can you travel to by train? Well folks, on this map, everywhere you're seeing a red line, that's a route that Amtrak travels on. Everywhere you're seeing a little white dot, whether it is Rugby, North Dakota, whether it's Tucson, Arizona, whether it's Ardmore, Oklahoma, whether it's Memphis, Tennessee, whether it's Boston, Massachusetts, everywhere you're seeing a little white dot on the map, that's a route, or that, sorry, that is a station that Amtrak can connect through, I should say. The red lines are the routes we travel on, and everywhere you're seeing a little star, that's a destination where Amtrak Vacations, again, has a package. The hotels, the sightseeing, the attractions, all bundled together with the rail travel experience. So in that vein, let's jump in and start talking about some of the last minute getaways and destinations that you can book to travel to for this year, including the city that Care Forgot, one of my favorite places to travel, Nolens, New Orleans. And one of our best selling packages is the New Orleans Ultimate Getaway. And there's quite a lot of reasons to go to New Orleans and quite a lot to do there. Whether you are going for the party experience, whether you're going for a foodie experience, with all the wonderful Cajun and Creole food, whether you are looking to do more of a history experience, whether diving into the history of the area with, in terms of the Civil War, in terms of the uh, local plantation houses and that immense history, whether you are looking to explore through the World War II Museum, that's incredible there. Whether you are looking for the jazz music experience, there are quite a lot of reasons to visit the Crescent City. And to give you an example of how you can customize, how you can tailor make an itinerary that fits what you're looking for, here is one of the feature hotel upgrade options. The Hotel Monteleon, which is right in the heart of the French Quarter. It's famous because it's a wonderful four star, very beautiful property there. You can see the famous carousel bar of the carousel bar in the hotel and when you're booking a package we have hotel options at three four and five star levels for you to choose from and so i would highly encourage asking if the hotel monteleon 
is available for your stay should you want to visit there. And as I mentioned, we have multiple sightseeing options, multiple excursions that we include within our packages. And you are, of course, able to select what you're planning to do, what you want to do, what exciting excursions you can venture out on, such as the Steamboat Natchez Paddle Wheel Jazz Cruise, which we have jazz cruise options, which is just the basic admission to the ride out on the water, listening to the wonderful jazz music. We have options for lunch. We have options for upgrades for dinner. If you wanted to do a guided walking tour, of the areas most affected, then rebuilt since Hurricane Katrina. We have an option for that. We have an option for a, a, a walking cocktail tour that'll go up and down the French Quarter, going to some of the local taverns and bars to drink some of the famous local cocktail options. If you wanted to venture outside of the city and delve a little into the Civil War history, the slave history of the region, we have tours to local plantations. We have swamp and bayou tours. So we have a lot of different options that can be selected to to customize the packages on the New Orleans Ultimate Getaway. And that's just one solid example of how we can tailor make itineraries to fit what you are looking for. Now folks, on this presentation on our website, or if we send you an electronic e-brochure, everywhere you see a Amtrak Vacations map with a bubble with a number in it, such as here, that indicates the amount of overnights at lodging included at a destination. Now you can see on the side all of the attraction options, such as the New Orleans Pass, which is a little purple credit card with admission access to the World War II Museum, the San Francisco Plantation House Tour, the Mardi Gras World Tour. You also have additional choice options of a Swamp and Bayou Tour, the Jazz Cruise I mentioned, a tour out to the Oak Alley Plantation. So you really can get in to the nitty gritty of exactly what you're looking to do on these excursions and on these tours to make sure that you accomplish what you're excited about. Now the next couple of packages are going to highlight not just city destinations, but also connecting with US national parks. So for example, the Denver Rocky Mountain Getaway. As its name would suggest, you would visit out to Denver and you'll use that as a jumping off point for a full day guided tour to Rocky Mountain National Park. Now this itinerary reads round trip from Chicago, which means that this is designed to start by way of train and end by way of train in Amtrak's hub city, the Windy City of Chicago. You could easily take out the word Chicago and put in your most local hometown station, whether it's round trip from Boston, round trip from Baltimore, round trip from Longview, Texas, round trip from Bellevue, Washington. We can recreate itineraries to start and end from your most local station when you work with an Amtrak vacations consultant. Now this photo, you can see the cloud gate or the bean right there front and center indicating Chicago. And if you wanted to say extend the package, maybe to do a few nights in Chicago to start or when you return from Denver, we could always add on. For example, adding on the destination. Now this itinerary will have you travel round trip on the California Zephyr, which is arguably Amtrak's most popular route. And it'll travel from the hub of Chicago right into Denver's beautiful Union Station, where we will include a two night hotel stay. And again, we bundle the hotel and we give you a menu of options for hotel stay for you to select a three star, four star, five star property. And we package that in with a full day guided tour that'll actually pick up from Denver's Union Station and travel out on a Mercedes Sprinter vehicle 
So I believe there's a maximum amount of eight to 10 people on the tour itself that'll travel from Denver out into Rocky Mountain National Park where you'll be able to see the beautiful snow-capped mountains, travel to some of the tiny little chalet ski towns, and it's a full day excursion out to a very popular U.S. national park with all the creature comforts of staying at lodging at a hotel at a major U.S. city. So that, folks, is the Denver Rocky Mountain Getaway. And you can see the two nights indicated in Chicago, uh, sorry, in Denver, the round trip from Chicago. And wherever you see a red arrow with a number in it, just as the number at a, in the bubble indicates the amount of nights at a destination, that indicates the amount of nights overnight on board the train. Next up, we have the ultimate San Francisco and Yosemite getaway. So this package bundles together a three night stay in San Francisco with sightseeing excursions throughout the Bay City but also will include a guided tour and a stay and visit in Yosemite at the same time. So in San Francisco, we include a guided tour out to Muir Woods, a visit to the little bay town of Sausalito, and a bay cruise is included on the day excursion. We also include one of those double-decker hop-on, hop-off buses, which is transportation all throughout the city. So you folks can, as the name would suggest, hop on and hop off all throughout San Francisco, down by Fisherman's Wharf, up down by, up by the theater district. If you wanna take a ride over the Golden Gate Bridge or go out to Haight-Ashbury to take a photo with some of the murals out there of the hippie musicians like the Grateful Dead and Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, what have you, you can do that. If you wanted to go to Chinatown, do a little shopping there, exploration, a little lunch, you can do that. That's all included within the package. And then after the stay there, we include a full day excursion where you'll be transferred from San Francisco out to a day tour of Yosemite. And then we will actually have you dropped off at a lodge right outside the park where you will have a two night stay included adjacent to Yosemite with plenty of time to explore Yosemite at your discretion. And then eventually you'll be transferred back to San Francisco at the end of the trip. So to read this itinerary, it would essentially be two nights in San Francisco, two nights in Yosemite, and one night back in San Francisco on the back end of the day tour or the, of the full tour, I should say. So that is the ultimate San Francisco and Yosemite getaway. And then we have the Grand Canyon getaway round trip from Chicago. And as I said before, again, you folks can essentially take the word Chicago, delete that out, put in your most local hometown station or most closest one to you as if it's round trip from wherever you're coming from, as again, we can rework this, these itineraries to be most convenient to your travel. And this package includes two train, tra train rides, both on the Amtrak side, on the Southwest Chief, running from Chicago overnight down to historic Route 66, Williams, Arizona, and back again but also includes a round trip ride on the historic Grand Canyon Railway, which will travel from Williams through the desert and Ponderosa forests on a very scenic ride into the south rim of the Grand Canyon to the historic village there. You can see a mock-up of the design of what it looks like there. It's its own little neighborhood, so to speak. And there we'll have you stay for a night at the South Rim, where we'll include the lodging there at one of the historical National Park Lodges. And of course, as we're talking about last minute trips, I do want to put a little star here and say, hey, we'll get you in wherever there's availability. 
But I will say, if given enough time, we can even reach out and try and secure space at one of the lodges on the rim, such as the El Tavar Lodge, which is particularly famous down there, sitting right on the rim overlooking the canyon itself. So again, as last minute travel is the highlight of the presentation, that may or may not be the last minute option, but again, with enough time, we may be able to secure you at a lodge on the rim itself. So that, folks, is the Grand Canyon getaway, this itinerary round trip from Chicago. So what is it like on board? And how should you be prepared? And what should you be prepared to bring on in terms of travel? Well, number one, you're allowed two free carry-ons of up to 50 pounds each per person and two check bags of up to 50 pounds each per person, no cost. And it's important to note that luggage can be checked as close in as 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time. In fact, that's uh, when we normally suggest getting to the train station around 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time. It's not like the airports and the airlines where you have to wait in security lines and you have to even, you know, be a little anxious when thinking about that heading in. You can get to the station 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time and comfortably and easily board the train. So what is it like in, uh, according to the accommodations on the train? Well, here you can see the coach accommodations, which are two big, plush, comfy seats. The seats themselves recline at a 45 degree angle with a leg rest that'll kick up, a tray table that will fold down for drinks, snacks, devices, outlets to charge said devices, plenty of leg room, plenty above head for luggage, and the nice big picture window, as I like to refer to it as the window on the world, because it's Amtrak vacations and Amtrak's philosophy that whether you are traveling, in a coach seat or the most deluxe sleeping accommodations, the key is seeing the country, seeing the beautiful scenery from the window of the train. So we want everybody to have their own window on the world. I do wanna put a little star asterisk on this photo. You folks can imagine these, these people in the picture wearing facial coverings, wearing masks. That is currently required for everyone traveling on board the train that are that is in the open areas on board the train. So if you're in coach seating, if you're traveling from car to car, then everyone, passengers and staff, do have to wear a facial covering on board the train. But I have an exciting announcement regarding that in a moment. I will say I do not know when the mass requirements are going to be lifted. Everybody always asks that when I when I start talking about that. That is up to the discretion of those on high, but I have an exciting announcement regarding that in a moment. So, some important things to know about sleeping accommodations. Number one, if you are booked into a sleeper on board the train, you have the priority separate boarding onto the train ahead of everyone else. So that means when you're traveling you know, throughout the stations in particular, the large manned uh, stations such as Chicago or New York or Boston or Seattle or Portland or what have you, they'll actually even announce that the sleeper car travelers should start preparing to board the train at priority and head of the general admission. And dedicated to your sleeper car train car, you have a car attendant who has quite a lot of jobs to handle. First off, they will provide the included toiletries and complimentary bottled water and coffee. Also on occasion, they'll come knock, knock, knock on your cabin door and say to you, hey folks, hey Mr. So-and-so, Ms. So-and-so, I want you to know that in five to 10 minutes, you're gonna, you should look out your window because you're gonna be traveling by some beautiful scenery, XYZ mountain or lake or important area of the country. Also, they will keep everything clean, ship shape, and in Bristol fashion, cleaning everything over the course of the day, up and down. 
and they will help everything fold down to the sleeping accommodations at night. Now, I did announce that everyone traveling in the open areas of the train is required to wear a facial covering or a mask. That being said, if you have your own private sleeper, of course, that will have a privacy door that will slide and shut. And once you are in your cabin, in your sleeper, with your privacy door that is shut, you then can remove your facial covering, remove your mask. So once you are in there kind of sequestered alone with you and your fellow traveler or you by yourself, then the mask can be removed. And as always, prior to the craziness of COVID, during COVID and now as things are opening up bit by bit, the dining options as dining is included within the cost of all the sleeper can be provided right to said sleeper. That being said, we're very excited to announce that the traditional cook to order served in the dining car service has been restored on the many of the scenic long distance trains, such as the Coast Starlight, the California Zephyr, the Southwest Chief, the Empire Builder, parts of the Sunset Limited, parts of the Texas Eagle. It's very exciting. And returning, with the is the full menu of options to choose from with some Amtrak favorites coming back, such as the Choo Choo or Railroad, whether you're a kid or an adult, French toast for breakfast, and the Amtrak signature steak for dinner. Be, but there is some chef-inspired new options on the dining menu. And to come back even pre-pre-pre-pandemic to some of the old extra amenities of traveling on board the train. With dinner, they'll be included or evening hors d'oeuvres or appetizers and one complimentary alcoholic or adult beverage served with dinner as well. So a little bit extra added amenities to the overall service. So to show what the sleepers are like on board the train, this is the roomette which the roomettes are the most commonly purchased or most commonly sold sleeper. During the day, it has two big, plush, comfortable seats to relax in. It has, of course, its own privacy in the cabin with a door that'll shut, a tray table that will fold down for drinks, snacks, devices, what have you. And your own big picture window, your own window on the world to enjoy all of the sights out of. You can see by the diagram in the lower left-hand corner that everything, as it does with all of the sleeping compartments, folds down to bunk-style sleeping. That is how it is, whether you're in a roomette, bedroom, what have you. You can see in this photo one of the benefits of traveling on board the train with your private sleeper sequestering yourself away from the world, even having the bedding folded down during the day. You can see this young lady cracking a book, relaxing, stretching out, watching the scenery go by, kind of separating herself from the, the busyness and the hubbub of the world and enjoying the countryside from the window of the train, relaxed and on vacation. Here is the diagram blown up or expanded for you. You can see is listed if it's up to two adults or one adult, one child, if you're traveling in that method, you can bring really and fit a few suitcases Though we will say you're really fitting them in the open but secured area on the lower level of the roomettes. So if you have like a personal items and personal like backpacks that can come into the roomette, with the carry-on piece in the secured open area on the lower level of the roomette car that you have access to. And as you can see, it has private restroom access in the car, private shower access in the car, which is only usable for those in that train car. And it should be noted, only those with sleeper cars have access to the showers. If you're in coach, it is what it is. So. If you have a sleeper, you have access to the shower, whether it's the one in the train car or the one in your cabin car. If you're in coach, it is what it is. 
Now the next step up, should you wanna travel with your own private bathroom and shower within the room itself, is the sleeper bedroom. It is the bigger of the cabins on board the train, and has a long couch and a big captain's chair as we refer to it, and has the nice big picture window to enjoy all the sights out of. Still, everything folds down to bunk style sleeping, as you can see in the photo popping up right now. You can see how things kind of look in the evening time. But it has its own private bathroom and shower that is designated within that private cabin. And you can see the door to the restroom to the left there in the photo. And here is the example of the bedroom cabin diagram blown up or expanded, just like we did the roomette. And it still lists up to two adults or one adult, one child. Suitcases, you can fit a little bit more luggage in the cabin itself because it is a bigger cabin. Though still, you're going to want to make sure you're prepared of how much you can bring in per night. But you can see it lists in room restroom, in room shower, of course, designating that it's in the room itself. And if we have anyone asking, because we tend to do, if there is a accessible type cabin that would be fitting for a walker, a wheelchair traveler, or a mobility difficulty traveler? Of course we do. There are available on the lower level of the trains that can fit such a designation. So, some everyday discounts, because it's nice to travel, but it's also nice to save. It should be noted that all of these discounts are off the base cost of the rail ticket itself. So children aged two to 12 receive a 50% discount off the base rail ticket cost. Seniors 65 and over receive a 10% discount off the base rail ticket cost. And then any active military personnel and the spouses and dependents of said active military personnel and then also any veterans of any age will receive a 10% discount off the base rail ticket cost. Some upcoming webinars of note. On July 20th, overnight rail vacations, we're gonna be covering some packages that highlight maybe more of an overnight experience. And then on the 27th of July, top rail vacations that you might find on your bucket lists that you wanna check off. As always, I'm interested to hear your responses. What destinations are you considering for your next rail vacation or next vacation at large? Feel free to type that in to the questions box. I'm always excited to see the answer. And now is the time to type in any questions if you haven't already. Now, I want to say that I will not be answering any questions in terms of the cost of packages because that is very specific to what you're asking, where you're coming from, what you're doing. There's no way for me to come up with that on a webinar and I'm not going to cover any customer service situations. Any other questions, feel free to type them in. A uh, very good question. Are there outlets for the bedrooms or roomettes to plug in CPAP machines for overnight use? Yes, there is. Simple answer to your question, yes. Now, we had multiple questions on rail passes. Rail passes are available through Amtrak. Amtrak Vacations, that's who's doing the presentation today, we are a separate entity. We have nothing to do with rail passes. For any questions using a rail pass, that has to be done directly through Amtrak. Now we have questions about traveling through Alaska. Alaska is something we sell here. Now, not at Amtrak Vacations, but I had mentioned a couple of times our other brand, Rail Bookers. So Rail Bookers can help you get on an Alaskan journey. And we, of course, can put you in touch with the rail bookers personnel. But you, uh, but again, it has nothing to do. Some people say, well, what about Alaska with a rail pass? There, Alaska 
is through rail bookers. A rail passes through Amtrak, and Amtrak has nothing to do with Alaska through that. So we can definitely help you. It would just be through rail bookers. Um, needing help with getting into uh, national parks, we can definitely help you with that. Um, I wouldn't. Someone asking, do I need a passport or a visa to go to Alaska? No, it is the United States, so you can go in there. Do senior 65 and over get a 10% off the rail portion of the trip? Yes, off the base rail ticket cost, so at, off the cost of the ticket. The 10% does not come off the sleeper car should you purchase a sleeper car, but it does come off the ticket. Um, as for last minute trips to certain national parks, give us a call and chat with a vacations consultant. Uh, people putting in where they want to go, uh, Seattle, Texas, uh, New Orleans, through the Midwest, uh, just traveling on the train itself. Are there itineraries for California coastal cities and wine country? The answer is yes. We have multiple packages to California cities and wine country, yes. Uh, is it possible to travel out of certain cities listed? I'm going to say yes. There are over 500 stations. I can't go through every single one of them. Again, you can give us a call and ask. Uh, where do passengers use the restroom? There are restrooms for the coach. Uh, so where do coach passengers use the restroom? There are restrooms in general for all travelers, coach in particular, in the coach cars. Let's see. Is there an observation car for sleeper occupants? There are observation cars where the windows go all the way up to like the domed curve of the train. They're not specifically for the sleeper travelers only. They're for general admission. Anyone can access to them. But yes, there are observation cars on the train. The green lines on the maps are routes that are motor coach buses that are affiliated with Amtrak that operation operate in conjunction with Amtrak, but the red lines are the train routes, the green lines are the motor coach bus routes. Again, any question on rail passes, we have nothing to do with here at Amtrak Vacations. That would be a question for Amtrak directly. And I will not be going over the base cost of XYZ. For any pricing, give us a call. Folks, I want to thank you for signing on today. Uh, we had several hundred people on the presentation. I won't be able to answer every question at this point. You can always give us a call, either yourself at 1-800-268-7252, or you can go through your local travel advisor. Thank you and have a great day.